start. Hi, it's Doug and Amanda for at Hammersmith Farms Equestrian Center in East Dennis, Massachusetts. Here with our weekly video. Yep. Um, I'm Doug Wrench. I'm the head trainer. I'm Amanda McBee. I'm the assistant head trainer. So today, what are we doing, Beans? Lunging. Lunging. Okay. Now, lunging. Well, how do I talk about lunging? I, I watch so many people either describe to me how they're lunging their horse and it's not working out or watching them lunge their horse and getting advice from everybody hanging on the rail and most of the time it's the the most basic concept of lunging is misunderstood mm -hmm. okay if you don't understand the basic concept and what you're trying to accomplish anything else you do nor natural horsemanship uh, or what it is a waste of time yeah so what we're going to try to show you is what is the basic things you need to do to lunge now, pretty much as the horse goes on the outside, it's gonna be where you stand in relationship to the horse, okay? We're gonna show you where the, the, the most important line is from your horse's shoulder to your shoulders back in the center, and, and Beans will demonstrate that. Yep. That's what we call the drive line, okay? If you're behind the drive line, the horse moves forward. If you're in front of the drive line a little bit, the horse is going to stop. If you get further in front of the drive line, the horse is going to go the other way. All right. We'll use either the end of a, a lunge line, probably in, in this size round pen. Uh, you're probably going to use a lunge, lunge whip. whip. Okay. Never striking the horse. I think everybody kind of gets that. Yeah. Right? Hopefully. Okay. <laughs> we're just we're just using it as a motion to keep the, the horse going. Yeah. Um, if we're working with young horses, green horses, unbroken horses. To do that without a lunge whip is kind of dangerous because yeah. what what a horse does a lot of times, if you've got young horses and you're lunging them and they'll try to move closer and closer to you. Yep. And if you don't recognize the reason they're trying to do that is get close enough to kick you. Yeah. And <laughs> it's and it's not because they're being nasty or yeah, mean no. or they're a bad horse. What they're trying to do is treat you like a horse yes. and play with you. Okay? And if it's an inexperienced horse, that's all it knows. It knows herd behavior. Yep. It knows how to play with other horses yep. in the in in the herd environment. And we have to stop and say, no, you're not doing that with me. So a lunge whip can be a protector to keep that horse out. Yep. You know, you can keep it at a distance where they're not going to get close enough to kick you. Because believe me, a horse can move in really fast. Oh yeah. You know, when you think everything's going good and they're lunging and they're moving closer, boom, here comes the kick. Yep. Um, and as a horse with shoes or even a horse without shoes, it's going to hurt. Oh yeah. So Beans is going to get. Uh, I'm going to kind of step out of the frame and see if we can get Beans to first get Jagger moving. Yeah. And she's gonna show us where the drive line is. All right, so Jagger, he gets excitable when he sees the lunge whip, but so right now we're in position, I'd be in front of the drive line. So, oops, stand. Stand. So the drive line, when we're talking about the drive line, you're looking at your horse's shoulder. I've heard a lot of people talk about horse's hip when they're lunging and following the horse's hip, but you really want to be following this drive line. So when I'm lunging... Yeah, maybe, maybe means I can hold Jagger and yeah. you can show to the direct line. So I'm going to hold Jagger steady. When I'm it's, lunging, I want to make sure if I'm using a lunge whip and a lunge line... Take care. Jagger steady. Stand Jagger. That I have the lunge line out, right lined up with the horse. So I'm not putting any unnecessary pressure or tension on the horse's face and I'm holding onto this very lightly. And then that drive line, you're okay, Jiggy. You're okay, baby. Shh. That drive line is a line just like this. So the lunge whip right here is showing you that line. From so she's his... drawing the line perpendicular from her shoulders straight to the horse's hips here. Shoulders. I mean shoulders. shoulders. I'm sorry. <laughs> so Sit this there. line that I'm showing you, this is the drive line. I'm right now behind the drive line. So this is where I want to be in order to push my horse forward when I'm lunging them. When I creep out in front of the drive line, I'm gonna get my horse to change directions like so. But I want Jagger to be going this way. So I come around, get around his drive line, send him ahead. Again, this I never wanna be yanking on it, pulling him in, using this to really slow him down. This is just to guide him. Again, I stay behind the drive line, and my voice and my body match the speed that I want out of him. So I have a nice calm body, I'm walking nice and slow, I'm not walking at him, 
but then when I want him to pick up his speed, I'm gonna put some pressure on that drive line and push him forward. I'm gonna step in a little bit, shut up, and I'm gonna use my voice. I'm gonna stay right behind that drive line to push him forward. And if I want him to speed up, I put some pressure on that drive line and speed him up. If I want him to slow down, I creep out in front of the drive line. I slow him down, I lower my whip. I use a nice calm voice. And now Jagger can be a little hard to get from the trot to the walk. So, oh, walk. Ooh. Yeah, so, right there, I got in front of the drive line and blocked him off. Back out. Now Jagger and I, we typically do a lot of free lunging, so I usually don't have this lunge line. So him and I typically aren't used to working with the lunge line, but... J Jagger too is a better, uh, is a more fully trained horse beans. Yep. So young horses that you're working with that haven't had a lot of lunge work, you're really gonna need the, the lunge line on the horse yep. to, to give it proper direction. Yep. But beans and Jagger have been doing it a long time. They, they, can, they can free lunge in the round pen. lunging on top of this I mean the drive line is the most important thing to understand when you're lunging a horse because I put pressure on it he speeds up I take pressure off of it he slows down I stop and I welcome him back into my space now this is this is a mistake that I've, I've heard people not only I've seen people do I've heard them talk about it. they've been instructed to do this when they get the horse to come in They'll get the horse to stop by moving ahead of the drive line, and then they'll approach the horse and, tr and to get go to it. That's putting pressure on the horse. We don't want to do that, okay? Yeah. So the way Beans did it, where she stopped, a lot of times the command is, if you have a whip, that a lot of people turn their whips vertical, and that's where they instruct their horses to come in. But the, the real trick is just enough in front of the drive line that the horse stops yeah. and faces you, and then you encourage the horse to come in. Further in front of the drive line, gets the horse going the other way. Yep. So when you're lunging a horse, what you're basically doing when you're putting the pressure on their drive line is you're pushing them out of your personal space. So when we're talking about herd behavior, horses are really big with personal space and herd behavior. And that's a lot of the behavior you see is them drawing the lines of what horses they want interacting with them, what horses they want in their space, and what horses they're going to push out of their space. So you have to realize that being in the middle, you're pushing that horse out of your space. So when you're done, if you run up to your horse and you're like, oh, good boy, he's probably gonna start backing up and get really nervous because he thinks you're putting more pressure on him and you're trying to get him out of the space. You wanna let your horse know that they're welcome back into your space. And again, this is something Jagger and I do a lot. So he does it really well and he knows what's expected of him. But when you're working with a horse that doesn't know what's expected of them, you want to make sure that it's clear that they come into you. And again, you know, like our trailering video, you don't want to be pulling on their face to get them to come in. You really want it to be them coming back into your space on their turns and them knowing, okay, I'm welcome back to their space. Um, and a lot of the time people are like moving all around, making a lot of noise, yelling at the horse. And you have to remember, when you're working with a horse that doesn't know how to lunge, it can be frustrating, but you want your body and voice to match what you want from them. Right, and, and a lot of times people have horse, trouble getting horses even to move, to yeah. lunge. And I hate to break it to them, but, but you're gonna just have to get after the horse yeah. really aggressively. Yeah. Not hit it, No. but just go with an urgency from the center, just run up, get, hit the whip on the ground, get the horse to move. Because people will say yeah. to me, my horse won't lunge. Well, you gotta get it to lunge. Okay, and that's and that's the way you gotta do it by being aggressive. Jagger's pretty good at going for beans. Shut up. Good way to start lunging in a small area too. Yeah, because you need to get the horse familiar to the fact that they're moving forward around your body and that you're not asking them to just move sideways away from the pressure, that you're asking them to actually move out ahead of you. I mean, just show them the drive line and moving forward, making them stop and then changing direction just so they can see yep. how easy that is to get the horse to 
maneuver or, or listen to you. So she's got his attention. He's turning in, right? Now to go the other way. It's the way we got him moving in the first place. concept of the drive line once you as the person understand the concept of the drive line because this is what horses naturally do to each other in the wild to push each other ahead or away from each other and shut up so see i mean jagger i'm really comfortable working with him i know that he's not going to strike out at me so i'm comfortable getting close to him to put that pressure on but i put pressure on to speed him up as soon as he speeds up I take that pressure off and back away. And this, this becomes another example when no fear, okay, you're afraid of the horse you're lunging because it's a horse you don't know. You're going to have a lot of trouble getting that horse to properly move for you. And the other thing, people get caught up trying to get behind the drive line, getting close to the horse to do it. The easiest way to get behind that drive line is to really come out wide around the horse. Hey, Jiggy. He's doing his livery stuff right now. Come on. Let's go. Hey. Forward. Jiggy. Let's go. Hey. Forward. I think it's because you're in the way, Doug. It could be. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going I'm to stand out of the room. when you're working with him because he's really looking to please and he's trying to guess what you want from him before you actually ask it from him. Okay. Okay. Good boy. And Beans is always getting, getting pretty close to his rear end, but she, she knows this horse really well. So anyway, being summing it up, I think, you know, for, we said it was the basics. That's the basics of lunging. Um, we're going to do other videos on how to, you know, other aspects of lunging and what you can accomplish doing lunging and other problems you have. It's a great time for you guys to put in the comic se comment section what you'd like to see or things yeah. that you're having trouble with lunging your horse, and we'd be glad to go over it. Yeah. When we thought about doing a lunging video, we recognized right away, as simple and as basic as it is, it's a huge subject. It is, yeah, and I mean, I'll post later in the week a video of what Jagger and I usually do with our lunging, and then we have some students that are learning how to lunge, so we'll great post thing. some videos yeah, great of thing that for too. Kids to do. Yeah, because even the student that I was working with this past weekend, she was like, oh, now I can really see what I was feeling in the saddle, because she's working on keeping the horse going and when really feeling that one beat when the horse starts to slow down to push it forward. She's like, I can see it now. I'm like, yeah, it makes a lot more sense, so... It's really, it's something good to work with when you're working with a horse and you have a goal in mind, just to be able to see what you're working with from the ground. Okay, well, thanks for watching. Thank you. And we'll see you guys next week and everybody have a happy Thanksgiving. Yeah. Oh, shout out Beans. Yes. Um, we had a little problem yesterday at the barn. You want yeah. to tell them about it? Uh, so we have two barn cats down here. Um, one of our barn cats, our orange barn cat that has a little smushed in face. Um, her name's Poppy, I mean Pippa. She was in our hay trailer yesterday when we went to go get hay down off of exit eight and we didn't know she was in there. And she ran out of the hay trailer and into the woods behind exit eight. So we've been back there a few times looking for her. So just a shout out if anybody is in the Yarmouth area by exit eight and sees an orange kitty running around, please let us know on Facebook. We're very upset and looking for her and her little sister kitty is upset looking for her too so we would love to get her back 
she's, you know, not just a barn cat, she's our pet, so mm -hmm. any help with that would be greatly appreciated. Thank you. Okay, thanks, and we'll see you next week.